This Sunday at Ellen Road, it's Leeds versus Arsenal. Can Arsenal get another win to stay top of the Premier League or will Leeds spoil the party? Bringing you everything that you need to know before kickoff. If you are looking forward to today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. But let's waste no more time at all and dive straight in things, shall we? Kicking off with recent form, Arsenal, as you can see on screen, plenty of green. Just what you want to see. Plenty of goals as well. Arsenal, very, very scary going forward at the moment. Those front three players that Arsenal have, dangerous. No shortage of goals, to say the least. A couple of clean sheets in there as well, which is nice to see. And winning ugly in our most recent game midweek in the Europa League. What does this make for Leeds, though? No wins in their last five, three defeats, in fact, and they do concede a few goals. One heavy defeat at the hands of Brentford, conceding five. So will Arsenal take advantage of the situation? Will Leeds record another defeat? But as already said, it is an opportunity for Leeds to spoil the Arsenal party. I'm confident I know you're confident. Let's have a look at the head head history between these two clubs. Thankfully, Arsenal just about trump leads in this department with 51 wins compared to their 41, only 33 ending in a draw. A fixture that has been played a total of 125 times down the years. And the last five victories. No losses to Arsenal, which makes for very, very good reading. A few games there in the League Cup as well as the Premier League. Two very good wins last season for Arsenal, both home and away. 2-1 at the Emirates and a very convincing win away from home, which is where this fixture is being played this weekend. 4-1. Yes, please. I'd love another one of those, if at all possible. Some interesting facts coming into this fixture for both clubs. Arsenal currently ranked second for per goals per game, 2.6, which is great. We haven't lost to Leeds in our last nine meetings, which goes all the way back to 2003. So maybe there's a bit of psychology there as well. Hopefully we can put that in our favour. And even better reading, Arsenal are currently ranked first in the Premier League for their away form. Leeds, on the other hand, are ranked 12th for goals scored, 1.4 per 90 minutes in the Premier League. They haven't won in their last five, which we've already touched on, but they are unbeaten in their last eight home games. So maybe they're Playing for a draw, we'll have to wait and see. But let's have a look at when Arsenal score and concede. And likewise with Leeds, Arsenal do seem to concede quite a few goals either side of half time. The majority of which actually coming between the 60th and 75th minute. And it coincidentally coincides with when Leeds score quite a few of their goals. Three just before half time, three just after half time. And then another two in that sort of danger zone, if you will, for Arsenal. But we have still not conceded in that first 30 minutes. Hopefully I haven't just jinxed that. But looking at when Arsenal score a lot of goals in that 15th to 30th minutes, which is where is a concern for Leeds. They've conceded three in that time frame. Arsenal also scoring quite a few just after half time five and also scoring late between the 75th and 90th minute four, in fact, which is the most in which Leeds concede. Is it a fitness issue? Is it a focus issue? Hopefully Arsenal can take advantage. We currently list it top of the Premier League, as you can see in the bottom table, 24 points compared to Leeds who find themselves all the way down in 15th, only having nine points from their opening eight games. With regards to team news, it's a bit of a funny one, really, because Jesus is someone that missed out midweek he had potentially a head injury from the game against Liverpool. He didn't go off after taking a knock. He was said to be OK. Not going with the squad on Thursday was more of a precautionary thing. But there are rumours to suggest that he may not make the trip to Leeds this coming Sunday. Outside of that, Zinchenko hasn't been pictured in training. So two top players, two top signings from Arsenal this summer 
potentially unavailable for this fixture. And Emil Smith Rowe and El Neni are out long term and de definitely will not feature in this particular fixture. Stuart Dallas is out until January with a long term injury. But outside of that, there are a couple of players there. Uh, Leo for her is out with an illness, so he could make a late return to this lineup. Uh, Archie Gray out with a broken toe and for sure with an ankle injury. From what I've read and researched, none of these players will be available this coming Sunday, which brings me on to my predicted lineup and danger man for this fixture this coming Sunday at Ellen Road. And it looks a little bit something like this. With Zinchenko not being available, I do anticipate that Kirantini will get the nod ahead of Tomoyasu, who was fantastic against Liverpool. The reason why I think Kirantini will get the nod ahead of him is because Tomiyasu was predominantly used in that game as a right-footed left-back, knowing that Salah, being a left-footed player, is going to come inside. It's easier for Tomiyasu to show him down the line, so it definitely felt like more of a tactical thing as opposed to a form thing between Tierney and Tomiyasu. I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see, of course. And then the only other change that I see is Enketia for reasons just mentioned with regards to Jesus. If Jesus was available and fit, he would be who I go with up front. I could be wrong. I hope I am wrong. Hopefully he is fit and available. If he is, he would get the nod in my opinion. But given what I've read and researched, if that is the case, this is the predicted lineup in my opinion. Do let me know yours down in the comments below, please. And my danger man this week is going to be Gabriel Martinelli. He was absolutely electric against Liverpool. Head and shoulders recently in terms of most informed player. I think at the start of the season, some could argue that it was Jesus. But Martinelli has certainly taken the reins in the last two or three games. Nine games this season so far in the Premier League with six goal contributions, 20 big chances created for colleagues, completing 20 dribbles, 19 shots on and off target in total, a total of 268 completed passes and an XG of 2.4. So he is currently outperforming his expected goals this season. Things you love to see. And to finish up my score prediction, do get yours down in the comments below. I'm going to go for a convincing Arsenal 3-1 victory. Our record against Leeds is very, very good. Their recent form hasn't been the greatest and Arsenal's is very, very good. Rotation midweek as well. So hopefully we can keep this momentum going, continue to build that confidence and more importantly, stay top of the Premier League. Go ahead and hit that like button if you have enjoyed today's match preview. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already. And of course, tactical analysis coming after the game on Sunday evening. So make sure you've got that notification bell button on so you don't miss out. But for now, I'm JC and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.